Elysses. A great idea. In previous times you were limited what you could do with them. You could do stuff like volume and and some other stuff that happens down here. And probably other things unbeknownst to me. However, there is a new version of main stage. This is say uh, 3.4.4 that allows you to do a whole load of stuff with aliases that I couldn't do previously. Maybe I'm wrong, but I couldn't find a way to do this. So let's create an alias. And to do that it is simply copy command C and paste as an alias. Alt Command V. There you go, the wee green arrow lets you know that's an alias. Click on it and it takes you back to the parent sounds with the wee wings on it. So both of these sounds are identical. Because that is an exact copy of this. Right, so <clears throat> to change this into something completely different, uh, the this particular example of my road stage has got all sorts of stuff added to it, like EQ chorus. It's got an up in there. Uh, Tremolo's not active. And this is exactly the same as this. So, I want to take this back to the dry, the dry state. In other words, when you get a roads, bring it back home. This is what you get. I'll take all these off. So this is now dry. <laughs> Right, great. So that's what I want. Um, right, same. Oh no, it's changed back to all the buttons being on. EQ oh, didn't want that. So what you do is uh, click on a button. And everything all hinges on the saved values down here at the screen control inspector. So I want to bypass that, so I just click on the save control, bypassed. EQ is no longer active, nor is the amp no longer active, or the chorus muted, no longer active. So. <laughs> Okay, so back to the original. Right, so that's with everything added. And look, when I call up the alias, everything's taken off. Right, fabulous. So we can save that by doing a command E to export. E as an E, which is the sound of an old guy trying to get out of a beanbag chair. Right, Command E to save, I'll put it in the desktop, export it. And there you go, that is it saved. Let's get rid of that and bring it back in. There you go. Oh, finder, desktop, roads try. Bring it back in. There you go. Original. Saved value with the alias. Still an alias. Referencing this here. Isn't that good? Okay, that's an easy one. Now let's do another. <coughs> 
another um, alias, command C, alt command V. All right, now in this one, what we want to do is mess about with the amp settings. Now, uh, click on the bass, for example. Uh, there's two ways of changing the imp, the saved value on this. You can either do it from here, put some bass on it. Click on the mid and and on the treble, let's say you use your what buttons this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the treble up. Treble up and the presence up. This is going to melt your brains. This. Click on that there. Um, it still received, retained the saved value from the alias. You can do this. Highlight the knob. Click on this wee thing here. Set saved value and it moves to the same value of whatever was in the amp. I'll show you the amp. Um, right. Okay. There's the treble value there, and there's the treble value there. The presence, click on that. Uh, what button is it? That one there. Uh, that one there, presence. Right. Take that way up there. Okay, click on it. That's it. Was well, sitting at <clears throat> a value of three. Click on this. Set saved value, and it jumps to one point two. Doesn't? It? Oh no, no, it doesn't. I want to take it up there. And set saved value. <clears throat> oh, that's better. Eight point eight. So what you've got is this. Oh. Let's make it even more painful by putting some EQ on it. Right, completely different sound. Click on that. Click on this, set save value. That goes up to 6.5 decibels. Now, that would rip the wallpaper off the wall, that sound. Ouch. So, to calm that down a bit, go down to velocity inputs and bring this, this shit r down to a level that's not painful. Let's find a note that. It's painful. Oh. Right, it's still bright and cutting, but it's not going to rip him his face off. So that's the input. Velocity input, reduce it until it's not painful. Uh, likewise, if you find that your gain structure is screwed up in that, this, this one's not so bad. Let's go back to the velocity input and bring this down even further. I wouldn't have it as low as that, probably. However, for this exercise, the gain structure has been reduced down here. So we want to take this up by a degree. Let's try 24 ish. I can never get this to bad anymore. 24, say. helps with the gain structure. There we go. That's 
that taken care of. Uh, we'll call this bright, I suppose. T-I-G-H-T. -I Enter. <clears throat> so you've got this. The original, and you now got this thing. Has retained all the settings you had at the saved value value. Okay, now let's see what we let's say you want to put some shimmer on this. Okay, so that's a shimmer value here, which turns, by the way, this shimmer thing, it turns it off when it's at zero, and back on again when it's active. be useful for somebody. Click on that and you want to set the saved value. Goes up to where it should be, which is... Where is it? Oh, ah, there it's there. There you go, 7.4. Oh no, I've done the wrong one. I do apologise. Oh. Anyway, I should be doing that on the bright, so take that up. To where you want it and uh, set the saved value. Set saved value. Okay, I better get rid of this. <coughs> oh dear. Set saved value. Takes it back to the saved. Right. As opposed to the original. stage bright to the I'm just putting it at the desktop export it take these two out of the concert and bring them back in the desktop there's the bright again still an alias it's still an alias <clears throat> and you still have your original. Uh, just as a footnote to this, if you <coughs> if you Oh, let's do the, uh, that one. If you do this thing where it says, what is it? Oh, convert alias to original, press that. 
it will in fact take everything back to its parent and it no longer becomes an alias but be warned if you do that the velocity input stays the same so just a wee hands up and uh, no input remains the same so even although you have converted this back from an alias to the original settings everything here is the same what won't change back to the original settings is the inputs scaling and to confirm the roads input scaling is as it should be so there you have it folks that is how to fart about with aliases to produce completely different sounds <laughs>